What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about this uh, breaking news in regards to Jonathan Majors. I may end up going live because I think that this is just this is the Tory Lanez effect. Um, because it's, it has the exact same parallels, and I I I, tweet, I tweeted about it, or whatever you call it now. Is it a is it an X post or whatever? And I said, you know what? Um, Jonathan Majors was doomed from the start of this trial. Because how do you go to trial for something? If you actually look at all the evidence and, and how things have played out, did it really need to get this far? But see, what's happening is you have two cities. You got Los Angeles and you have New York that want to criminalize black male celebrities or male celebrities in general because... They have reached. They have changed laws in order to go after Donald Trump, especially in New York. That's why Diddy got sued, was because of the law that they instituted, which was originally, I believe, was to get Donald Trump, but ended up affecting others. Right. So here you have the Tory Lanez effect. You look at what happened in this situation with Jonathan Majors. It's incredibly sad to me. Because they, the, the thing that people need to look at is they, they actually had charged him on eight counts, right? But they only went forward with, I believe, what, two? Because he got found guilty of two. I think they dropped the other ones. They dropped most of the other ones, and they went forward with these main ones, right? Because they wanted a guilty verdict so badly. Because this is what has happened to the justice system, especially in cities like Los Angeles and New York. They have become celebrity courts public court basically where they take these cases and make them bigger than what they really are anybody who's looked at the evidence anybody that looked at the video of him running away from her his girlfriend you really think this guy is beating on her and they said that because what it looks like what they found him guilty of was his history of violence quote unquote they're saying that Jonathan Majors has a history of, a, of being abusive. How come we didn't hear about it until this situation? You know? And I just think that he was doomed from the start of this. There was no way that Jonathan Majors was going to get out of this without a guilty verdict. Just like with Tory Lanez. You can see it coming. This is what is happening now. This is where we're at. This is the Tory Lanez effect. She got abused. and They're saying... That she got to be, even though I believe the driver of the car disputes any type of abuse that he did towards her, but they went with, well, I mean, he has to have done it because people are accused him of this before, even though there's no evidence, right? This is, this is where we are at. This is why nobody has faith in the justice system. Look at it. It's sad. It really is. No, it's, it's, it's to a point to where. You really have to be careful out here. You so much as raise your voice at a woman, you can be criminally charged, especially if you're living in, in Los Angeles or New York, cities I would never live in. But I want people to understand that I'm not saying that Jonathan Majors is 100% innocent. He's, I believe that he did things that may have helped this escalate, but I don't think that he deserved to be found guilty. I really don't. I really don't. Looking at everything, her chasing him down, her going out partying after the fact he went stayed somewhere else. But he's guilty. Th this whole thing was a sideshow. It really was. And they only seem to care about the court of public opinion and trying to convict people in the court of public opinion because this this pretty much does ruin his career at least right now in the short term hopefully long term wise it doesn't hurt him because we've seen people do worse and they're still able to come back from it and what's fun is that you got men who are literally putting hands on women who have not been arrested they have not even been brought in at all, right? But in this situation, they're picking and choosing. We're going to criminalize this guy or that guy, right? And we can say we're doing this to protect women. Just like they did with the Tory Lane situation. 
they made into a real crusading to help women y'all don't care about women you really don't there are women that go missing there are women out here who uh are in really bad situations and y'all do nothing for those women there was a young lady that lost her life in mexico she was beaten to death and the u.s government didn't do anything they didn't care about that woman but all of a sudden we're supposed to in this in the tory lane's case and in jonathan major's case we're supposed to believe that you care about women when that when you don't this is just for publicity them flexing their muscles say we can convict anybody that's basically what this is and again i'm not one of those people that's all about conspiracies or all about uh you know blaming the government for everything but i am looking at what is happening in two particular cities los angeles and new york and i'm looking at what's going on here and something just isn't right to me even though this was a tr this was a jury trial but again they 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 tried they went and they wanted him convicted by any means necessary so they put as many different charges say these are the ones that could work these are the ones that you know it, it's not really about getting justice it's more about a public win that's what it's about if I'm Jonathan Majors, I never live in New York ever again. Now, I don't know if he's going to be on any type of probation or anything, but I would never want to live in this city after what has happened. So let's get into this article by TMZ. Jonathan Majors was found guilty in his criminal trial after jury decided the actor's fate following three days of deliberation. The verdict came down Monday in NYC, an actor was found guilty on one count of assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. Remember, he initially had been slapped with eight separate charges, all pertaining to alleged assault and harassment. But before things kicked off, the DA's office agreed to drop four of them in an effort to consolidate their complaint. He was acquitted of two of the other counts of assault and aggravated harassment. The trial, which lasted about two weeks, had some standout moments right from the jump in the opening statements when prosecutors alleged Majors had a history of violence in his relationships and that the March incident in question was simply the latest example. Prosecutors claim Majors and his accuser, Grace Jabari, had gotten into an argument that night after she discovered some texts from another woman, but asserted Majors was the one who escalated things by allegedly twisting her arm behind her back and her finger as well. They also claimed that he threw her back into the car they were in after she attempted to exit. In other words, they alleged he roughed her up and the six person jury agreed. But he was running down the street. She chased him. Did she go running to the police? No, she chased him down the street. Now, again, did he do it? Did Jonathan Majors do everything right that night? No, but there is eat from the video evidence. He wasn't beating on this woman. He was running away from her. That's two different things. One critical piece of evidence presented in court involves surveillance video of the night in question showing a scuffle between Majors and Jabari, plus a foot chase shortly thereafter with Majors bolting away from Jabari, who runs after him a few blocks. Yeah, that's, that's what abusive men do. They run from women. Jabari herself also took the stand as a key witness, and she backed up the prosecutors in case namely that majors had gotten physical with her that night and then followed a pattern of control and manipulative behavior that at times teetered on violence of course she did because she was the because you know she was such fear of her life and he was harassing her so much she went out and partied she described other alleged instances of majors losing his temper and deliver emotional testimony on cross though majors defense team attempted to pick apart her story including asking her whether she was actually injured that night despite security footage showing her part in with the fact and looking seemingly unharmed and unbothered majors 911 call the day he was arrested also released he called after finding jabari passed out in his penthouse apartment and feared she may have attempted to end her life throughout the trial majors appeared alongside girlfriend a uh, current girlfriend uh, Megan Good, who stood by him during the saga, whose presence some thought would buy him goodwill. Uh, the biggest question now, of course, is what happens to his career 
it was on the ropes even before the trial now it feels he might start to be dropped in mass it's a big blow majors had already started playing marvel's next big bad and he was a rising star in hollywood with oscar aspirations Sometimes you got to ask yourself, is it even worth it? Is a Hollywood career even worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because to me, I have seen worse and I've seen people. Dana White smacked his wife in the club. Now, people say, well, she, she, she started it. She put her hands on him first, which is fine. But there is no video of him smacking this woman, beating on this woman. But he's found guilty in court. That's the thing that, that, that really annoys me. The selective outrage. You got people who have literally been seen putting their hands on women. Have not been investigated, have not been charged with anything. This to me was a sideshow. It really was. It was a sideshow. It was just meant to entertain. The New York court system is a joke. It really is. It starts with your DA. Complete joke. Complete joke. This is why I don't understand why anybody would want to live in those failing cities called Los Angeles and New York. If this would have been anywhere else outside of New York, he would have been found out guilty. Now look at look at Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp took his situation to court, right? And suing Amanda Heard. If he had, if if the court, if he would, if the court, uh, uh, the um, the case was sent to like a New York court or a Los Angeles court, he wouldn't have won. He would have lost. But it was in Virginia, right? It was in Virginia. I believe he had a case in the UK, and it was I don't know if it was dismissed or, and then he brought it over here. Um, I don't know if Jonathan Majors can fight this. Maybe he can. Um, I'm not sure. I just think that this is just incredibly sad. This, this saga is sad. That female is just as responsible as he is for what happened that night. She's just as responsible, but she's not going to be held responsible because women are victims, right? So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram. Subscribe to my other channel. Subscribe to my Jada Black live streams channel. It's in the description box. I will be going live. I'll see y'all next one. Y'all take care.